I, I think it, a lot of it boils down to to how they perceive a guy. Um, a lot of times, as a as a player, um, you come into this league, and whether you're the last pick of the draft or you're a free agent, um, it's hard for some guys that have become elite to look at a guy and automatically say, "Hey, this guy's arrived." Um, and he's the face of the of, of, a, of the franchise mm-hmm. or a face of the NFL or he's ready to be the next great thing because he's not number one or number two picked in the in the draft. Um, but we've also seen number one and number two picked in the draft be the worst yeah. player ever picked. Yep. Um, and so I think that's where a lot of that comes from. I, I don't understand it. I know the quarterback gets a lot of praise when things go well. And I know the quarterback takes a lot of heat Mm -hmm. when things don't go well. Um, I haven't been able to figure out why he's taking a lot of heat because they haven't been terrible. Mm -hmm. They've been pretty damn good. And, and overall, I think you look at it, like I said, his name and how they kind of like, they give him that, that mantra of, you know, Mr. Irrelevant. I think that kind of states kind of what they people believe about him. And, and that, Maybe they need to change that that last draft pick's name because that last draft pick kind of sticks with mm-hmm. like he's Mr. Irrelevant. No, he's he's become really relevant. <laughs> and, and I think if you ask those guys in the locker room, they get behind mm-hmm. him. They support him. Um, you know, you got you got guys on defense that are coming in after and talking interviews and talking about him. You know, like Fred's talking about him saying, hey, look, mm-hmm. this 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 is Brock and we're riding with Brock. 